what I'm going to be talking about is responsive website design. People will be visiting your website on their mobile phone. Doing everything else that they do, one of those things will be visiting your site. Mobile device usership has taken over the traditional desktop and laptop interaction. In web development terms, that's called responsive website design. And what responsive websites do is that they adapt to the size of the viewer's screen, transforming from widescreen desktop designs down to mini screen mobile device designs automatically. Now, I'm going to go through a little bit about what that really means. Let's first have a look at a website that is not responsive. Okay, so we're going to visit a website called www.causewaycoast.holiday. Beautiful website built for large screens, desktop screens, you know, nice panoramas with a slideshow, really very effective, very beautiful. However, if we take our screen and we narrow our screen down so much so that we look at it as if we were on a mobile phone, you'll see that if we were on a mobile phone, we'd have to move like this around the page, you know, like sideways and up and down, and that gets a little confusing for mobile device users, especially when you start using navigation buttons and it gets really quite long you know, and there's multiple columns, so it's a little bit of a challenge. Let's let's bring this a little bit wider back to normal laptop size, or saying there's laptop size, or larger. So in this case, if it's larger, we get some nice background sky. And that is a website that is not responsive. It didn't respond to the size of my window that I was viewing the internet in, my web browser window. So let's have a look at another website, which is Rainbow Coast. And we're going to visit the little town that I'm from, Denmark, Western Australia. And we're going to have a little look at this website. And this is what the website looks like on a laptop or a large computer monitor screen. And you can, you know, have a look, two column pictures, you know, nice little things sitting side by side as well as on top of one another. And it's a nice site. So let's imagine... If we were visiting this site on a smaller device, so I'm slowly going to make this narrower here. Let me pull it across to the middle so that you can see it easier. We're going to pull it narrower and watch. Just as we go to reach the limit, oh, it jiggles around. <clears throat> it gets smaller. It's adapting to the size of my, the width of my browser window. See? Oh, making it small enough. This is what the website looks like on an iPad Pro. Nice, large, tablet-sized computer. If we go a little bit narrower, oh, that's what it looks like on an iPad or an iPad being held vertically like a book. You can see the shape of this window on my computer is the same shape as an iPad, practically. Um, we're, but we're going to get smaller. Let's see what happens when we get even smaller. Oh, and we're going to shrink all the way down to as if we were looking at this on a mobile phone. Now, oh, no navigation buttons because there's a navigation button. Ooh. Yeah, with little sub-navigations. And you can scroll down, and images and text are sitting on top of one another. There's no scrolling sideways and back and forth. See, everything is stacked on top of one another. So that is responding to the size of my the window that I'm viewing the Internet in. And if you're viewing the Internet through a mobile phone, the window is going to be very narrow. If you're viewing it on a nice large screen you're going to have a nice width. In order to move from a website that is not responsive to a website that is responsive, you're going to need to make changes to your code. And they are going to be upgrades. The code that makes things responsive is a change from the code that is not responsive. And that change is something that you need to account for in many different sizes. So there will, of course, be costs involved in transforming your website to a mobile friendly fully responsive website if you're a client of uplift design we have all of your source files and we've created your website to begin with so we're very familiar with the code that's currently being used and we can upgrade you nice and smoothly 
to a mobile friendly, fully responsive website. I guess what I want to leave you with is when you're thinking about the web and you're browsing on your laptop, consider that people are browsing all over the web with many different browsers and devices. Mobile use is just going to get greater and greater.